Okay, so good evening, everyone. Today we are here to discuss our project, uh, which is uh, which is known as driver drowsiness detection. So uh, uh, this project was made in keeping in mind keeping in mind that uh, around thirty around thirty percent of the accidents uh, around the world occur uh, due to the drowsiness of the dr driver while driving while driving driving any kind of vehicle, may, whether may be it may be a four wheeler or a two. So in order to reduce that number, we uh, we cannot directly uh, reduce. Uh, we can we cannot directly do anything about the drowsiness drowsiness of the driver. It, it can it can be uh, of multiple reasons. The uh, the driver is uh, drowsy. So we cannot uh, directly affect that, but we can we can uh, reduce that by using indirect approaches such as this uh, this technique, uh, driver drowsiness detection. So. Uh, the the methodology is the, the methodology behind this uh, technology is that uh, we uh, we will uh, uh, behind the steering wheel we will put a camera camera and the camera when the uh, uh, car is stuck when the driver is uh, driving the car the camera the camera is kept, uh, real time monitoring and capturing the frames which is which is capturing the frames and capturing the face of the driver while driving and is and these captured frames are then stored and then stored then the stored frame then the store then from the stored frames we will detect out detection in a separate in a separate column as you can see in the flow chart for detect we, we will look for eye detection if the eye is detected then we will calculate the eAR which is uh, eye aspect ratio and if the eye aspect ratio is greater than is 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 greater than uh, 4 at 4 that is a predetermined predetermined value then we will then we, uh, we will uh, sorry uh, the, uh, uh, then we will uh, uh, raise the alarm, and 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 uh, the same is and the same can be said for the mouth detection. We will detect the mouth, and we'll calculate the MR, that is mouth aspect ratio. And if the mouth aspect ratio is greater uh, is greater than 0 0.38, and then we then also we raise the alarm. So uh, uh, this model is particularly divided into three parts, that is uh, my face, eye, and mouth detection, eye closer detection, and mouth uh, open mouth detection. Here you can see the uh, deeper explanation for that. Uh, in this step, we will uh, we, we are using the delib uh, library uh, uh, in Python, uh, which uh, we, in which we use a shell that is implemented by the delib delib library, which uh, which puts uh, which uh, places 68 uh, facial landmarks on the of the face of the driver around around uh, around the edge of the face on around the ear around his nose and mouth. I know that. and this is the and this is the formula uh, we 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 will, we will be using for calculating the eye aspect ratio. So this is how the this is uh, what is called uh, face uh, face 64 facial landmarks. So this is how the, these points are uh, uh, placed on the driver's mouth, and as you can see in this uh, in this left uh, diagram, the P1 uh, we will calculate the vertical length of vertical length that is P2 P3 P6 and P5, and if the, if the uh, if if this and this if this distance is less than the predetermined distance, then the alarm will be raised. And same and the and the uh, opposite uh, can be said for this uh, true can be true for the mouth detection. This is the formula for mouth uh, for the mouth detection, and this is the point that is put by 64 facial landmarks using delib library. And if the pre if the uh, vertical length that we can see the points 50, 61, and 60, and so on. Uh, if the if the vertical length increases from the predetermined value, it also raises the alarm. In the in the beginning, we can see that uh, yeah, yeah in in this project, the recently uh, recently made advance initially the detection was only solely based on eye 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 movement of the driver. So it was uh, it was very it was not sufficient or it was not efficient enough to detect to detect if the driver is drowsy or not. Uh, it can be of many factors due to the light due to the low lighting condition. Uh, Due to the camera not being uh, due to the face of the uh, driver being not visible, so it was not as reliable as it is now. So we are we have added a new feature that um, that also calculates the mouth mouth aspect ratio. With that, if we we can we can calculate we can determine we can determine if the driver is yawning while sleeping, and we can uh, we can uh, we can decide that if he, if he is drowsy or not. And on that basis, on that basis, if uh, if if a driver, if the driver uh, yawns uh, uh, two three times in a particular inter interval of time, that or the set interval of time, then we can say that is is the driver is drowsy, and we should uh, we should give him an alarm, so the alarm will be raised. Yeah. We are, in this project we are mainly using OpenCV 
open speed for vision uh, for capturing the capturing the frames and record and real time monitoring uh, dlip uh, dlip for uh, uh, so, uh, 64 land, 64 land, placing 64 facial landmarks to uh, to uh, calculate the, to calculate. The. So as I was saying, we are using uh, this uh, these particular tools uh, in our project. First of all, we are using OpenCV for computer vision for uh, real time monitoring, uh, real time monitoring and capturing the frames of the driver. Real time monitoring and capturing capturing the frames of the driver and and storing those and storing those. And and we are of the uh, aspect ratio of the mouth and the eye is by the delivery and we are using and we are using implementing that uh, see, uh, using co convolutional neural networks and we are using the Python language uh, in this project. So this proposed method was initially implemented using laptop uh, which uh, laptop webcam which you, of 15 frames per second the system was tested and we were success we were successfully able to determine determine if, if our is closed. I, if our uh, eyes was closed or if we were yawning enough, if our uh, first of all, if if our eyes are fully closed down for a particular uh, for few automatically go off, and if we yawn in a particular set of interval of time, the alarm will also go go off. So uh, the the advantage is here that um, it is it this this project is, uh, does not solely based on eye aspect ratio. It also it also determines if the uh, driver is yawning. It it can it can, it may be it can make it may can be happen that while driving while driving while driving the car uh, uh, due to the low lighting condition the camera may think that the camera or the uh, captured frames may think that uh, the, the driver's eyes is, eyes are closed but indeed they are not so by 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 taking the factor of the mouth mouth aspect ratio we can also determine if if we can determine correctly if the driver is uh, sleepy or drowsy or not without uh, giving him any fake alarm. So this is this is the screenshot we took of our project. So this is how it works. The as you can see, there are 60 there are 64 points placed on the face face of a uh, of the driver. If the if the eyes are closed, eyes are closed, then you can see there are there is a red block red box uh, named as sleepy. And due to and after detecting it, the alarm will go off. And same and same if the mouth is open and it is yawning and sleeping, the alarm will also go off. So conclusion conclusion our aim initially our aim was to uh, as we researched through the papers and we take, took some references from the other papers uh, we our uh, aim was to uh, improve 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 this uh, uh, method methodology or technology to prevent prevent or to reduce the percentage of the accidents that happens yearly due to the uh, drowsiness of the drowsiness of the driver so we added the we added one feature of mouth aspect ratio and due to this this uh, the method is significant significantly improved and these are the references we took from that's all from my side ma'am thank you